It's, I think, going to be a kind of repeat of what Alok said, so I'll try to see how much of it, you know, I don't repeat. Uh, as uh, it was introduced initially, I think I mean, kind of, I completed one cycle of my entrepreneurship, and uh, from a million to billion, I did not do by growing it, but maybe becoming part of it, because we sold our organization in 2005 to a billion euro company, so uh, I don't know if that's the best way to you know, go from a million to billion, but yeah, that's the way we went about it. My experience, having interacted with many entrepreneurs, has been that though they are technically very sound, they are extremely good, but they lack the sales skills themselves. So with the sales skills, obviously, many of them are able to build the business to a particular level, but then when you're going to the next level, how do you really change the way you're doing your sales? That means whether you have to build up a team, how do you really rely upon other people to do the work for you, et cetera, et cetera. I'm sure Rahul will speak a lot about it because now he's grown his business to you know, almost close to 650, 700 people. The second uh, aspect which, again, uh, uh, Alok touched upon is that yes, how do you, not only the sales side, but how do you really build up the whole team? Because as a, maybe a million uh, a dollar entrepreneur, because we, uh, we uh, uh, made our company almost around $4 million. Uh, Till that time, there are so many things where you are very closely involved. You're deep into everything. You have you know, everything on your hands. But as you're growing it to the next size, you have to take a step back. You have to spend your time more on the strategy side, more with the customers, and entrust the things with others. So what that means is, do you have the right MIS systems which you have created? Have you, uh, do you have the right IT infrastructure which you have created? Do you have the right review mechanisms, et cetera? Uh, we have a lot of examples within India who've uh, been billion euros or dollars entrepreneurs, whether we talk about Mr. Narayan Murthy of Infosys, whether we talk about Shiv Nadar of HCL, and there are so many examples which are there, but there are also examples where the moment people try to go from a million to billion, they failed. And obviously, I mean, it's, it's not uh, only the strategy side, there must be something else, like uh, the recent example being Vishal Retail, where they were doing extremely well as a small, uh, not a small or small mid-sized business, but the moment he tried to uh, expand by creating more stores, he got funding from various places, he got into a complete mess of cash. And that's where then he had to exit out of the business uh, by selling at a very, very low price. So obviously, I personally feel there is a lot of learning which can happen from failures. I would say more learning from failures than successes. And that's what I think is important to look at it.